Okay, 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 okay. It's Gertie Mac, and let's jump right into Ice Cube speaking about Caitlin Clark not taking the big three $10 million deal. So Ice Cube was on Dan Patrick's show. Now y'all remember Ice Cube, soon as I was got done playing and all that kind of stuff, Ice Cube offered her a two year, $10 million deal to come play in the big three league. Now, of course the big three league is not the WNBA. It basically would have been a mixture of Caitlin Clark and playing some guys. Now, of course, Caitlin Clark did not even bite on that offer at all, period. Now, Dan Patrick had Ice Cube um, on his um, podcast, and this is what they talked about and what Ice Cube had to say about Caitlin Clark deal not falling through. Does the offer still stand to Caitlin Clark? Uh, nah, we, we've, uh, we've moved on. Uh, we see that she uh, is focused on the WNBA. Um, and, you know, we really didn't get great engagement from the offer from their team. You know, I think the agents was hating on it a little bit. What was the offer, official offer to Caitlin? It was two years, $5 million a year. Uh, and plus, you know, we were going to do cool stuff with merch. And, you know, I think uh, he was even talk about a uh, percentage and team ownership. Mm. You know, we were going to, you know, we believe her coming into the big three would be such a big deal that, you know, all boats would rise in the league with, with benefit from the attention and to see, you know, if she can actually do it against against this competition. So, but, uh, but it would be great if she doesn't go to the Olympics. There's a window there where she's not playing WNBA. Maybe a guest baller. Uh, nah. You moved on. Okay. I think, I think, yeah. All right. You know. You know we we know how to uh, take no for answers. <laughs> now I'm not going to waste a lot of time on this. Because I think we all knew that Caitlin Clark was not taking the deal to go play in the big three. Uh, much respect for what Ice Cube is trying to accomplish over there with that league. But Caitlin Clark coming off uh, playing for Iowa, the spotlight, and the time that she had in women's basketball. I didn't see her going over there playing with a bunch of guys, old, uh, um, NBA players, and going over there trying to compete. Now... Nothing wrong with women playing against men and playing on the same team. But I don't think Caitlin Clark, that is something that she wants to be a part of. Maybe later on down the line or something for fun, but not at the height of her career. Same way a lot of these guys uh, uh, come out of high school, they come out of college, they get drafted. That's what their goal is, is to go to the NBA. Not to go play for the big three. Nothing wrong with that, but that's more like for guys who have already been through the washing machine, been through the dryer, and then they're back in the washing machine again uh, uh, on low, on normal, and they're over there playing. And some of them got game, but that's kind of just like what that is. Some for those guys to go do. Caden Clark, the type of spotlight that she knew she was about to walk into, I don't see her want to go sign with Ice Cube. Even though they were offering five million a year, more than what she is making in the WNBA, but she's going to make that money up in brand deals. But y'all get in the comments tell what y'all think. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like and share this video. Holla.